right here we go i am uh if you're watching this video then either you subscribe to the youtube channel uh i'm back i haven't recorded in a while now and i'm actually gonna do a lot of recording today so make sure you stay tuned and we're gonna really do some some great justice today uh with going through this is the foreclosure auction site um most of the, the auction sites, at least in the state of Florida, is made by the same um, company. Uh, actually, most states uh, make the sites. Uh, you know, I guess it's some type of third-party uh, website provider. So, anyway, bypass all of that. Let's get directly to the point. Um, if you're watching this video, that's great. However, definitely if you're a virtual assistant working with me watching this video, it's even better because this will be your training video. Okay, um, if you are a virtual assistant, then I'm going to give you the link for you to log in with my information because you're going to be doing this weekly. All right. So we just click in. We're going to confirm everything. If this is your first time, you can read this. It's definitely going to have some information you might want to know about. Okay, it's more information you're going to want to know about. Click OK. So the first thing I want to do, I'm coming up, I'm going to the calendar. This is the first thing that you'll be doing. Going to the calendar. All right. Today is the 17th. Let's click on it. It's literally a little like it's a foreclosure auction every day. Cancel for a thing. Right, see. So, wow. It's just so. It's one. Okay, so today is already too late um, to look at this one. And as you can see, it was only three properties that was there. Um, if you stay tuned, and actually, if you're a virtual assistant, what I want you to do is you can see this property actually sold. It was definitely a good amount that it sold for. The final judgment amount was actually two ninety five, which was owed to the um the two ninety five was owed to the bank. And as you can see it was purchased for three forty. So when something like that is purchased for three forty, you have what is called a surplus. So we're gonna go through and just give a check on who actually lost this property today. So it's several defendants. This was actually in a, in a subdivision because it has a HOA fee out. Okay, perfect. And as you can see, both of these were the defendants. They won't be too hard to get in contact with, but what I would like to do is just go over to the property appraiser site to kind of just get a little bit more idea of the property itself. Okay. They purchased it for 232. Wow. And that's something they purchased it for 232. And if you look, you can see that the final Judgment went for what was the final judgment? Yeah, two ninety five. Wow, so that's like what two thirty sixty something thousand above. So anyway, let's get back on course. The whole purpose for us going through this video here, I mean creating this video, is so the virtual assistants can know that number one, let's go back. Okay, and then we're gonna go on more into the surplus. Alright, so this is the calendar. I need every virtual assistant that is watching this, especially for properties that is ahead of us. Not, I mean, behind us is like today, the auction already started. So anything where the auction has already started, I need you to take this 
list here and we're going to start communicating with the, the investors on uh well not investors the homeowners for surpluses so hold on one second I'm gonna make a quick surplus spreadsheet kind of sh show you the surplus spreadsheet along with this so you can know exactly what to do when you first go into the, the, the um foreclosure auction site for any county that i have you looking into because we stretch between florida california and louisiana and georgia at this moment so hold on one second okay boom voila so we created our surplus spreadsheet Now we're going to go ahead and since these were recent for the month of May and if you're watching this and you're a virtual assistant every month we should have a hey, so go back to the spreadsheet let's say we're on the 17th um, I could do every 30 days but it's not gonna be that many. So let's let's just say I I want it right here. Okay. And I colored this in. Okay. And I just wrote in okay. And, and basically in this line right here you know and have that there let's go back here though just wanted to place that there so you can have an idea of how your spreadsheet should be. So we can see here the final judgment was 76,572. It sold for 56,800. 56, so they were actually behind on this property. But if we want. I would still like to just check the properties, go through them, don't pass over nothing. You know, why, 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 we might as well just go all the way through it. Okay, so no, no one, you did not want this bid. Um, so the plaintiff won this bid. Because the plaintiff won it, I don't think that it actually even, no one purchased this property. Because they're asking for more than what it's worth. So, um, is, is this a property that we could contact the bank back and potentially get? I'm not sure, but it's definitely going to be on the bank's uh, list. And I tell you what, we're going to make a spreadsheet for this as well, too. So, hold up one second. I'll be right back. So, here you can see we made a spreadsheet. I'm going to bring up the spreadsheet. God, I was gonna move the spreadsheet a bit just so you can. There it is. You can see, did not sell at auction. Spreadsheet for all the categories. So let's go back to here. Let's click on property appraisers. All right, it's gonna tell us it's gonna move. Okay, so we want to turn around. We want to put the property's address and they actually live at the property this is a mobile home okay didn't sell that auction so now we are going to take note of this and maybe it's a property that we reach out to the bank 
you know, get some information on. I don't, you know, and that can remain big. I don't even care. Uh, actually, I like to get the real estate number as well. Get the real estate number. Okay, the next sale. just put the now actually you know what to be strategic I would say just put just go ahead and copy the whole thing don't take any shortcuts go here go there Zone accepted. We don't know if it's accepted for city yet. Contact. We don't really need to get in contact with them. Um, we can make a nah. Yeah, we can make a note right here. I would, I would probably say make a note, even though we already know. But this is going to be slightly different. So we're going to put under the property. Uh, so we have that, we have that. Okay. Maybe fish. Maybe federal, okay, asking. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, perfect, perfect. Perfect. All right. So that's that. Let's go back. I try to make it fast as possible. You know, you don't, you don't want to spend all day on this stuff. Try to make it as fast as possible. Okay. Actually, I think we still have this window open, which was the surplus property. So let's go ahead and okay surplus then go to the property. I can almost bet you that he lost his property due to a uh a surplus property. Due to a divorce. So our goal is to get in contact. The reason why you want to take this information down so we can eventually get in contact with the sellers, I mean the people who lost the property, and then we could turn around and and help those individuals retain the overage that they lost. And we're going to get in the actual addresses and everything a little bit later. So that's that that's pretty much it, guys. That's that's showing you how we're doing. We're going on. So whatever month we're in, I would say least start by going back with that same week. Like when we went on there, we go back to the calendar. As you can see here, we're in the month of May. Uh the this is the beginning of the month. Instead of going all the way back, we're going to do these fresh and then we may go back even further. But I would suggest to just to keep it simple and start with the month that we're in and go through each one of these for foreclosures. And I'm going to show you tax deeds 
in the next video so stay watching